Well, g'day and welcome to another edition of Chewing the Fat. Bevo here with you down at Alberton Oval today. We're joined by one of the young guns from the power, picked up at number nine in their rookie draft in 2018. He's kicked 14 goals this year for the Magpies to be their leading goal scorer. That is Tobin Cox. Tobin, great to have you on Chewing the Fat, mate. You are born in Narracourt and uh, obviously you've ended up at Alberton. Talk us through your great footy career so far. Cheers, thanks for having me. Um, well, I guess I started in uh, at Padua when I was around 13, 12. Uh, I didn't get. I actually sort of didn't really get a game from our court, so I left them. Um, went to Padua, and then during around 15, 16, I was coming up playing for Glenelg and a bit of Padua as well. Um, I was fortunate enough to win the grand final then back home in the A's. Um, and during that year, I was also playing 16s for Glenelg. Um, and then next year I went to up came up here, went to Henley, um, and played at 18s for Glenelg, but unfortunately got injured, so I was out, missed that grand final, then um, missed the rest of the year out, and then yeah, had a good season then last year, and then fortunate enough to come to Port. And as you talked about, um, you've had a few injuries and stuff, and you missed out originally on getting drafted, but obviously you got to have that extra year playing footy with the base. Do you think that ended up being a positive rather than a negative? Uh, yeah, I guess it gave me a bit of perspective, a bit of gratitude um, for what what we do sort of thing. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I sort of had to be in my own time to sort of find what I w- really wanted to do. Um, and then, so yeah, yeah, I was real excited about that. And what was it like? Talk to us when you got picked up at number nine on the rookie draft. That must have been pretty amazing for you and your family. Yeah, it was pretty unreal. Um, I actually missed it. I was coming back home. Um, and so, yeah, I just got out of the car and got all the messages come up and then, yeah, told mum and, yeah, it was a bit of an, an emotional time with the, with the family. I can just imagine. Now, this year I spoke about it before. You've kicked 14 goals to be the leading goal scorer for the Magpies so far and certainly right up there with regards to the Ken Farmer medal this year. Um, where do you see yourself playing your best footy though, Tobin? Um, well, for now, I reckon probably down, uh, deep forward. So I've picked up a bit of a marking role this year, but I can also crumb. Um, but yeah, I haven't really been needed to do that. And hopefully when I get a bit fitter, hopefully I think everyone wants to go in the midfield, but yeah, hopefully I can get there one day. And you're up against the old side this Sunday, the Bays, who are flying at the moment. They're on top of the ladder. The Maggie's just outside the top five, equals to on points at the moment. Um, must be pretty exciting playing against your old mates. Yeah, it'll be pretty fun. Um, so yeah, no, a few of the, the backmans, hopefully I, um, I know more of their weaknesses so I can get, get on top of them. But yeah, it'll be pretty fun. And the Magpies this year, um, as I mentioned before, they're, they're going pretty well. Uh, just sitting outside the five and, and the power, both having pretty good years. Um, talk to us through both of those. Yeah, we've, we've been uh, hit with a few injuries, um, a few close losses for both the teams. Um, so, yeah, like we, we're doing pretty well. We had a, we were unfortunate to lose last week, but we had a good crack out against at, uh, pretty much full side Adelaide Crows team in uh, Sample. So, yeah. And the Power Boys, they, they take on the Hawks over there in Tassie this week. Um, last week, got away with a great win after a really good second half, winning by 38 against the Gold Coast. Um, how do you see the boys going this week over there in Tassie? Um, yeah, I think it will be good. We, it's Indigenous round this week, so I think we've been pretty pretty close talking about that, and I think they, should, they will get up this weekend. Uh, that's actually my next question. The Indigenous round is um, quite special, no doubt, to, to Port Boys. Um, and, you know, really everyone in the AFL is starting to embrace it, which is just fantastic. And um, Sam Pepper has organised this amazing Guernsey this year. Um, it's got all 45 players on the Guernsey. Talk to us about it, mate. Um, yeah, so he, he designed it. I think it's a bit of a club club thing for, every, for all the, an Indigenous dude to uh, make a Guernsey a year. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was pretty sick when I'm when it came out and um, I was actually in the advertiser with it on. Um, so yeah, that was pretty sick and hopefully I can wear it this year in the game. Well, let's hope um, the Port, Port boys are in the power on Saturday and the Magpies on Sunday can get the job done and uh, do the Guernsey proud. Um, before I let you go, mate, um, we all have a bit of banter. I've been involved in footy clubs for a long time and you have for a shorter time. Um, tell us some of the funnier boys down there at Alberton and, and, and why they are pretty funny. Um, well, I think there's more menaces, really. Um, so we got Rocky. Uh, Tom, so he's a bit of a menace. Played a joke on Rosie today. Um, that was pretty funny. Um, and then we got oh, you got to tell us all about it now, mate. Oh, um, well, he bloody um, like got his car keys and he parked in front of the driveway, and um, and then in our meeting, um, 
someone took a photo of it and brought it up and um and Rosie didn't know about it and all the coaches did so they were sort of getting stuck into him which was really funny um yeah that was really fun and then Grub uh Sam Gray he's always a good laugh he's just that has these funny inside jokes um and then yeah I'd say Pep Pep is pretty funny as well dude so yeah I love it mate and do you have like a mentor down there as well yeah well we were assigned mentors at the start of the year um mine were Billy Frampton um so I'm not 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 sure why <laughs> he's a bit taller than me but um I think yeah he really welcomed me to the uh to the team real good real well and um when he's when he's playing down Sanford, he we're a pretty good combo down there. So yeah. And outside of footy, uh, what sort of interests do you have outside of footy, mate? Um, oh, I don't really have many interests. I, I'm getting into the stock market, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, outside up, just like relaxing. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> well, Tobin Cox, it's been a pleasure having you on Chewing the Fat, mate. Keep up the great work with the Magpies, and hopefully see you in a Power Guernsey sometime soon. Thank you. Cheers.